I wanted to do a video that's all about trying to help you to improve your confidence when it comes to answering exam questions. We want to get to a point where we can feel that we really know what it is we're meant to be doing. So I've done this video to try and help you understand more about the exams, more about what the examiner is looking for and giving you some model answers to help you really think through and to prepare for the exams that are going to be coming up. So what I've done first of all is give you a range of questions that are taken from the unit B603 Medical Ethics which is an exam that is coming up quite soon. These questions give you a clear idea of the sort of things that you should be revising and preparing for. So what I'm going to do in this video is actually go through a set of questions to actually help you understand exactly what it is you should be doing on each one. So the first things first, you've got to make sure you know your facts. In medical ethics obviously you've got things like euthanasia, abortion, fertility treatment, animal rights, cloning. If you don't know your facts either through some kind of mind map, revision resource materials, then obviously you're going to set yourself up to fail. So make sure you know your facts. The next thing is obviously you need to make sure you know what Christians actually believe. Again, the question will be asking you, or the questions will be asking you for a Christian perspective, if that's what you're doing. So you've got to make sure, again, in your revision, that you're prepared to give those answers. You can't wing it on the day by just making up some stuff. You might get one or two marks, but you won't get the highest level answers and the highest mark you can get. So make sure you know what Christians believe. Secondly, quiz yourself. When it comes to revision, a lot of people just simply read from their textbooks or their exercise books and think that because I've done that, I've revised well. There is such a thing as of a kind of delusion of knowledge. The best way to revise, according to psychologists, is to quiz yourself. Is If you're going to actually remember things, then write questions down and test yourself. It doesn't matter if you get those questions wrong. It can make you feel less confident, but actually you are actually building a stronger memory if you keep going over those questions, because in the end you'll get them right. Quizzing yourself is the real key to making sure you remember the right stuff at the right time. So let's go through a set of exam questions. Now the first question is always a fairly straightforward question. So the first question is what is meant by the term suicide? Now this will often be the A question, one mark, a simple definition and the answer would be taking your own life. You should really spend no more than 30 seconds max on one of these type of questions but you've got to know your keywords, you've got to know your definitions if you're going to get them right. A B question is worth two marks. You've got to make sure you get these straightforward, simple questions right. Two marks can be the difference between one grade boundary and another. So this question says, state two reasons why Christians might be against suicide. So it's like a follow on from the previous A question, looking for a little bit more, but only two simple reasons. So when it comes to this again, we know we've got to know our facts. We've got to make sure we know what we're talking about. So Christians believe life is sacred and a gift from God and only God should take away life. And this would be our answer. It goes against the principle of the sanctity of life and they believe that only God should take life. Two simple, straightforward reasons worth two marks. Shouldn't really spend any more than two minutes on this question. This question says, describe one reason why Christians might oppose abortion. Now, even though the topic's different, it's talking about abortion instead of suicide as the previous question, basically the principles are the same. We're talking about the principle of the sanctity of life, the idea that only God should take life away, that humans shouldn't end the life of another human or themselves. So the principles are still the same, so you can use the same things here as you did in the previous question when it's linked to suicide. Now, from the mark scheme, you'll see here that actually to get those three marks, you get a statement and then you develop the statement and then you add to the statement as well. Or you can add an additional point. So I've said in a full three mark answer, you'd need to say something like this. 
Christians would be against abortion because they believe that only God should take life. There's your one mark. They also believe that life is sacred and a gift from God. There's your two. This means that all humans' life is precious and should not be wasted. There's your third exemplification mark. So that is how you get three marks. That is what the examiner is looking for. So you can't just write a simple statement. You've got to explain it in a little bit more detail. The question is often one which people struggle on. It's worth six marks. And it's the one you're going to have to spend a little bit more time on. You're going to have to spend at least eight or nine minutes answering this question. Now, it can make you feel a little bit like this. How on earth do I answer the question? Now, the most important thing to remember is you've got to make sure you know your facts. OK, it says explain why Christians have different attitudes to euthanasia. So you'll see highlighted behind me on these sections here, the key parts to why Christians have different views. And again, this is going to come down to your revision. And uh, what I've done for you next is I've written you a kind of model answer. And in this model answer, I've taken some of these facts and actually written them down. So what we're going to have to do here is think about what the D questions are about. So these questions are written with a very specific purpose in mind. The examiner's looking for your depth of knowledge about Christian belief. They're looking for you to know your ability to know the differences in what Christians think about certain things. But they're also looking for you to be able to explain why Christians believe what they believe. That's the purpose of a DE question. There's a very specific reason behind them. So the next thing is, what does the mark scheme say? So the OCR mark scheme levels the answers that you give in this type of way. So you can see you've got three bands here. You've got a weak answer, a satisfactory answer and a good answer to the questions. Each one of those will, the examiner will read your answer and see which band it fits into. Now, obviously, you want the five or six band, the level three. And that means you're going to have to know in detail enough about the differences and the, and the quotes that are used that Christians have regarding euthanasia. And you're also not going to have many spelling, grammar or punctuation errors. But you've got to know your key terms. So let's have a look at an answer uh, that I've written to help you begin to understand what you need to do with those things. OK, so here's an answer that I wrote. Uh, this is where your application of the knowledge comes in. So this is the answer there and you can read it yourself. And then I'll tell you how many marks I think roughly this would have got. Now, this isn't actually a bad answer. It's actually got enough detail in. But let's assume this would only get three marks or four marks as a satisfactory answer to the question. OK, because you've got a lot of things in there that are underdeveloped. For example, if you take the first one, taking a life is wrong because they believe in the sanctity of life. That needs a little bit more development. OK, and the sort of things you might need to add to that are examples to improve the mark. This will show the examiner that you have a greater knowledge and understanding of the question and how to answer it. So what you would need to add on to that is something like this. This means that all life is precious and should not be wasted or ended, whatever the circumstances. I always say to my students, look, don't make statements. You've got to explain what you're saying with an example. So that would be a first example of how to actually do that. So what about the second point? What would you add there? So secondly, suffering does not pro does produce good things, develop an inner strength and a stronger sense of purpose. So I've added on many people who experience suffering often have a greater appreciation for life and just being alive. This is why most Christians would be against active euthanasia. So again, you've got to add that level of detail to make sure you get those higher marks. And again, if you go to the next one. Uh, some Christians believe that if they help another person end their own life because they're truly suffering, God wouldn't judge them badly because of this. And again, I'd add in something like this. They believe this because this may be the most loving thing to do. And God and Jesus both taught Christians that they should love 
their neighbour. So again, these are the sorts of additional points you need to add to get the marks. Now, you're not necessarily going to need to add every single point uh, to uh, get the six marks, but I'm just showing you how you could answer these type of questions and what you'd need to put in there to make sure you get it right. So this, again, would add on to your work and get you those actual six marks that you're looking for. Finally comes the E question. How do you get 12 marks? Well, look at the question first. It's a discussion question. The use of animals in medical research is always wrong. Listen, it's absolutely key. You need to ask yourself a series of questions with this. There is not necessarily a format. Your teachers may have shown you a format that you follow, and if you follow that, then great. It's not saying there's not a mark scheme that says you need three marks. It's like the D1. There are levels of marking which you show your level of detail in your answer will decide what level you get. So the sort of questions I would be thinking about, or I'd be getting my students to think about, is to look at the statement and say things like this. If you've got a question that said use of animals in medical research is always wrong, I'd be saying, right, is it wrong sometimes? Why? When isn't it wrong? Why? Is it wrong all the time? Why? Do some people think that? Why might they think that? Do you think it's wrong personally? Because obviously you need to give a personal point of view. Sometimes? All the time? Why? Why might you think it's wrong sometimes? You need to give reasons for that answer. What do Christians think? Quotes. Do they all agree? Do some Christians think one thing and another group of Christians think another? Can you think of reasons why? All animals, because uh, it says the use of animals, or are there some specific animals you might think are acceptable and other forms of animals you might not think are unacceptable? Explain why you think that. If you ask yourself those type of questions and give an answer to each one of those, then before long you're going to have enough development discussion within it to actually give yourself a really good answer. Now, again, another thing to notice is the question isn't actually a religious question. There's no necessarily mention of religion in the e-question. If you read the explanation underneath, you must refer to Christianity in your answer. That does not mean the whole question, uh, when you're going to get 12 marks, is actually needing to be about Christianity. It can be a discussion about the use of animals in medical research. So use all sorts of views, but obviously make sure you refer to Christianity. Also, I say to my students, please don't just add on a little section at the end where you just say what you think. Try and thread your opinion throughout. As you make a point, try and add your own opinion on the bottom of that point. So if you make a point that sometimes it's wrong because you don't believe certain animals should be used, for example, for example um, monkeys, being used in animal experiments, then you need to say, in my opinion, I agree with this, but make sure you say why you agree with it or why you disagree with it. And do that with each point. That way your opinion is threaded throughout the whole of the work, which makes it a much more deeper, comprehensive piece of work.